Good afternoon. We are going to make a presentation uh, right now about, uh, well, uh, you will see in a minute, but uh, we are from PDC booth or stand number 38. And uh, with me today, I have Klaus. And uh, Klaus, would you uh, introduce yourself, please? Hello, old friends, colleagues, customers. Uh, my name is Klaus, working with PDC and have been working there for the past many years and 45 years uh, in airline business, doing everything from check-in, loading aircraft, weight and balance, dispatch, schedule planning, commercial planning, slot management, and now I work with PDC, who has provided the software that I used all my life, and uh, this makes so good sense to be uh, experienced from your side of the business and now on the IT side. So I'll get yeah. back to the theme that we'll talk about in a second. Yes, my name is Lars, and uh, I have been in aviation all my life. My father was an airport manager, so it's in the blood, uh, so to speak. Uh, yeah, basically the same story as Klaus, I guess. So we are a couple of one-track-minded guys uh, with 100 years' experience altogether, more, more or less. Now, PDC Aviation, let me introduce you to that. Uh, we are uh, 110 employees in PDC worldwide in five locations in Canada, Colombia, UK, Denmark, and Singapore. We have been in aviation for the past 36 years, and we have attended this conference for the past 30 years, give and take. Right now, uh, in our PDC airline suite um, portfolio, we have 44 airlines, and uh, more than 450 um, airports use the uh, um, airport coordination system called SCORE. Now, as uh, we uh, speak, uh, you may experience that uh, this is actually a tribute, a tribute to the airline schedules planner. And um, yeah, Klaus, will you talk a little about that, please? Yeah, change the slide, Lars, and... Um, oh, nice slide. I yeah. see, I see, uh, I see a perfect uh, flight time, PTC flight time over there, yeah. or up there, and uh, I see uh, a, a nice system, and uh, with, with a built-in integrated uh, uh, OCS, ready for making the perfect schedule. Yeah, yeah very nice, yeah. very but nice, Klaus. This is not a sales pitch, so let's talk about something different. Uh, you recognize yourselves, I'm sure. John, this could be you. Tor, Nese, it's you. Everybody, recognize yourself. And you recognize that you are very proud of what you do. You make a perfect week. Everything is perfect. You know every little detail. You know every corner, you know every ground stop. You know what is possible, what is not possible. You sleep on it, you wake up next morning with a good idea. I can move this 10 minutes because then it gives me the opportunity to uh, make a nice rotation in other places and utilization of the aircraft. And Klaus, yeah. it's, it's all in the system. It's all in the system, yeah. So you have a queen of scheduling, king of scheduling. Anna, yeah? You have the perfect hand. And then when I play poker with Lars, suddenly he ends up with the, it's called the devil's hand. You are attacked from all sides with unrealistic expectations to your schedule. Your commercial team, you, you recognize this, that they come and say, can we uh, put in an extra round trip here and there. Can we move this 30 minutes? 
and they have no clue what impact that will have on your schedule. It may cost another crew. It may cost, uh, yeah, maybe you get some better utilization on the aircraft, but uh, as uh, John mentioned once, you cannot put utilization in the bank. But of course, yeah, utilization is important. But you get unrealistic attacks from all over the world. And you want to stay in control. You have one powerful tool here at the conference uh, because you know about slots. So you can always tell them it's not possible. I can't get the slot. So that's uh, our secret here. So you fight for your standard week and you get closer to real life and uh, one day you decide, okay, I will roll out my standard week. So now you have 27, 28 weeks to be in control of. And then things happen. We experienced uh, COVID, that was terrible. Or you get new competition, we get... Uh, yeah, we are attacked from all sides, so our rolled out week is suddenly messed up. But you want to stay in control. And yeah, and then my role and Lars's role in this is to learn from you, your experience, and then making the software support your needs. So real life put that into a real system. We do that today and we have uh, nice optimizers and uh, nice slot management and everything is super. Uh, but you want to stay in control. And then last, every time we talk, you ask me, what is this? Yeah, because I, uh, see, yeah. I see Dean Martin, I see uh, uh, many people there, but yeah. it, uh, actually it uh, misses a, missing a picture that looks like a black box or something? Is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we can put anything into an optimizer. And it will produce a result. But it's so hard to evaluate your result. You were in control. You knew every detail. And then you have a black box that produces an output schedule. It may be good. And you get some KPIs out you can measure and you can compare. But as a schedule planner, you are, we are so afraid of losing control, right? You recognize the picture of what it looks like. And then uh, one more thing is that I hear from everybody that it's so hard to find people with experience in this business. Okay, you are there. But the next generation, who's going to teach them all you know, all your experience, all your uh, knowledge about where can I cut a corner, where can I shave on the block hour, where can I uh, gamble on a slot? Uh, but Klaus, uh, the new generation have chat GPT. Yeah, so yeah, that's what's going to happen, yeah, because you can, we can ask chat GPT, please finish up my schedule. <laughs> no. Or not? No, nah, yeah. You, 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 you taught me everything many years ago. Uh, but still, uh, you want to be in control. You are the only one who knows every detail in the schedule. So everybody will turn to you, trying to mess up your baby, your nicest structure, your nicest, the best. You know, we look at it visually. We like to see the pattern. It's a night pattern. You know the details, but it's a pattern that uh, turns you on. So, the uh, developers we have, they, yeah, no, they don't say it, but sometimes I can hear it between the lines. They call, they call it user interference because they, say, we can do anything, we can just do it like that, but we don't want the users to mess up things. But my argument is always, you are in control, you want to be in control. The most important thing is that what you do, you know the details. 
And in, in your world, it's perfect. In the other people, uh, when they mess it up and the output from an optimizer is all messing up your ideas, remember that as king of scheduling, queen of scheduling, the structure of your schedule is dimensioning everything in the company. Every little thing. How many check-in counters, how much catering, how many engineers on some outstation. You, your schedule is basically bottom line of everything. I don't know how time is flying. I had uh, a thousand notes, a thousand details about what to talk about. So it, it, uh, isn't, it isn't flying very fast, so you can go ahead. I can go ahead. Yeah. Um, so never underestimate the power of the schedule planner. You can even uh, cheat on the CEO once, uh, once in a while and say this is not possible you, because every time you do a change, it must be a trade-off between commercially attractive and logistically uh, feasible. Yeah, Lars, do you have anything to add? Because I'm, uh, yeah, I'm okay. losing control. Well, uh, Klaus, who are you in these pictures? <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah maybe. combination. <laughs> this is all, uh, you know, when you, when you build your, your standard week, uh, it's, uh, you need to have many iterations with maintenance, with the crew. You need to go back and forth through standard week, through the optimizer, do changes, run it through the crew pairing optimizer, back and forth. So it's many iterations. And you fight for your structure as long as possible until everybody else messes it up for you. Recognize it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I probably forgot a lot. Um, That's okay. I know every detail of the schedule, but uh, I lost track of my simple PowerPoint. <laughs> okay, so that's yeah. basically it. Yeah. That's basically it. Yeah, and, uh, and this tribute goes out to all of you, the airline schedule planners. Yeah, yeah, basically, right, Klaus? Yeah, yeah. you are the kings and queens of uh, the airline business, really. Mm -hmm. A hat okay. for you. And of course, for more information or to come by for a chat, uh, visit uh, stand number 38. And uh, a service information to John, uh, the gentleman you're looking for is sitting right yeah, behind you. Good, <laughs> okay. Well, is that it, Klaus? Yeah. Final word, will your schedule ever be perfect? No. Will your software ever be perfect? Yeah. <laughs> On that note. <laughs> That's all, <laughs> thanks. Thanks. Thank you.